Hi and welcome back to Geeking with Jody. I was playing the Access Denied CTF and thought it's a good example for uh, beginners when you want to start CTF. If you don't know about CTFs, you just go to the CTF time site and you will see different capture the flag games. This is games hackers play to increase their knowledge, to entertain themselves, to compete and you can create teams, it's very easy. These are the upcoming challenges. You can enroll in any of them with any level of knowledge. If you can create an account, you can start playing. And many of the games are not that difficult. Most of the time they have very simple ones for starters. This one's names looked cool. So we enrolled, it's a two day. We have not played much yet. Our team standing on four, not good for us although there are lots of teams but we are a, not a professional but we are good enough team 200 teams ah it shows the first 200 teams i believe anyway on the challenges uh you have different parts when you are playing you have crypto very normal commonly you have something like a crypto you have pound challenges web challenges re reversing challenges and such here for example on rev you have to reverse engineering something the first question with 36 solves good enough it says see the word with c there is only one file so you have to submit the challenge i'm calling this one for beginners because i'm going to solve some easy ones and just show you how practical this is you just need to concentrate don't panic try and learn and learn this is a good thing about uh ctfs it's an opportunity to learn new things i'm using my kali for no specific reason but it's cleaner i can just copy files here compile them run them without worrying about running them on my own computer and in most cases at least in this example in this specific example it's a c program but in most cases you need to work on executables especially linux executables are very common so it's better to have an operating system here i have copied the file here uh, i always working tmax if you don't know about tmax i have a good video you can try it it's very very powerful to go these kind of things anyway this is what we are going to work on i will open it in my editor on tmax i can split the screen i split the screen i will zoom here this is the challenge it's very straightforward and not that long i have seen the code i have tried it so i know what i'm doing not to waste your time although this was super quick and easy when i say it's straightforward because you only have one c file which you can run let's go to the other part here if i go to access at desktop what's happening for tab whoa Huh. What is going on? I don't know what is going on. Okay, let's reboot. <laughs> this is a CTF for beginners. And as, as you can see, I am a beginner too. I lost my way. So, we have a C file. I can compile it. GCC rev1. It will give me the a out if it's correct a out and i can run this a out and see what will happen it waits for me i say hello it says access denied why when i say it's very straightforward the reason is it's a very short code you run it so it should be easy to reverse it as you can see first it defines the flag here so the flag is here somewhere we have one reverse function. We have one encode function. I will just have a quick look if 
I just want to understand what is going on. I won't go inside each function to understand it completely. For beginners, I try to run it, saw how it works, so I can run it. Then we go to understand, we start to understand what it does. It defines one str, this max size, it's defined here, 100 characters. Then it says, read something from the user. Then encode this string. So this is the encode, and as you can see, encode calls reverse somewhere. We will check it later. But in general, we are reading something. We are encoding it. And then we check if the flag, which is this, equals str. If it is, we will say access granted. So, sorry, access denied if it's zero. So if it's not equal. Uh, I was confused because of this. And C, when, the, when we do an str CMP, if both are the same, it will return zero. So we say, compare them. If they are equal, say, access granted. Else, say, access denied. Strange program. So what happens? I give it a string here. For example, my string is hello. It calls encode on this string. What happens in encode? It says I have an X code, X or character with 23. So it's X oring most probably with 23 somewhere. But before that, it says I have a four. It moves on all your string till it reaches zero. You know, in C, when you say I have a string which is here, hello, practically it's hello then one ASCII character zero, null character to finish the string. So it says go first, go with H. String, a string I, so H equals reverse of string I. So it does a reverse on this. We don't know what the reverse is, but whatever. Then it XORs it with 23. So for each character, it reverses it. We will check what reverse does. Then XORs it with 23. And then it's here. Then does for this. Then does for this. Then does for this. Then does for this. And we will have a new string. Then it checks if you need this new string equals flag. See? It's easy. We know that XOR is reversible. If you XOR A and B, and you will reach C, you can do a C, X or B, and you will reach A. This is a good thing about XOR, and that's why it's used in lots and lots of encryptions. And you can see it's not a good encryption because you can reverse it easily. So one idea is, you, saw, you see what happened. I said, hello, each function was each character first reverse then x ord with 23 and it should become this so i can take this this should reach here if this was a correct password so what i can do is i can take this x or it with 23 then reverse it and i should be able to reach this so instead of trying to guess this one it's enough to take any of these one by one uh, and do the reverse process. For example, the second one is minus 42, if I say C correctly. So minus 42, X or it with 23, it will become something called the reverse function and you should reach the second character of your input. This is how you can reach input even without understanding the reverse function. Although reverse function is not difficult. First, the name is self-explanatory, if I'm right. It reverses something in the binary. And if you read it, it says, okay, get CH, take ZX X at, as 0, then go by 1 up to 8, so 8 by 8 bits. For each one, multiply x in 2 
shift one to the other side and add it to the x what happens is if you have one 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 zero it will become zero one zero zero one it reverses it even if you don't know it and it's more complicated one for reverse engineering you can call this with different values and print them and you will see how it works but now we know what we should do it's enough to go through what i just described do an actual reverse engineering so what i can do even before reading the string i can go through all this flag one by one so if i want to do that i have to do for int i equal zero while i let me increase the font size for you while i is smaller than 100 i can do wiser things but this is good enough because i'm not going to write a production program i plus plus this goes through all the i uh sorry this goes through all one by one on the flag so if i want to write clear clearly character c equals flag i now i have this one it's enough to as you remember first x or if my guess was h when i was doing a reverse and then doing a x or with 23 i had to reach to minus 111 so if i take this x or it with 23 and then reverse it i have to reach the correct character for my beginning so what i will do is uh first i will say mm, i can just print it print f print f print this character but what is the character it is the reverse of flag i x ord with 23 i'm doing the reverse of this here my output was x or with 23 after reversing so when i'm reversing it i will do uh x or and then reverse it so that's it where am i and what i'm doing okay this should do it let's try uh, i will do gcc rev1 i will compile it ouch what happened printf i did a mistake here obviously i did when you speak too much you break things and write a access denied because I went up to 100, it's just trying to find other strings. But this is good enough. So this is my output. Access denied. X, or, and reverse are fun. I can copy this. Go here and say, I have the answer for the first question. It says, successfully submitted. We have not promoted. Ah, we are 14. Now we can continue. I just wanted to show you that it's easy. Just enroll, start, try. And even if you do not succeed, after the challenge is finished, you can search for write-ups. People will write write-ups for these challenges. Even this one, which you are watching, you can find it by searching for write-up, access denied, I don't know, Jody, blah, blah, Rev1. And you can see how it's solved. So it's always opportunity. If you think for one day and you cannot solve it and you see the answer, you will learn something. Have fun, enroll yourself in the next CTFs and play. You will be a great hacker soon. And subscribe.